Two minute drill. Joining us now, Wincrest Capital CEO Barbara Ann Bernard. Uh, Barbara, Ann, good to uh, good to catch up with you. Uh, let's talk, if you could, about uh, you know the broad market setup at the moment. Pretty interesting crossroads. We were talking all hour about the S and P gaining just about half of its overall losses. Seems to act like we're in p past peak inflation uh, and maybe past uh, peak Fed hawkishness. Would you buy into that idea? Unfortunately, I don't think this rally is sustainable. And if you're chasing this rally at this point, I think you're fighting the Fed. The market got really excited when inflation looked like it had peaked. But we've had two members of the Fed, Evans and Kashari, come out and say it hasn't changed their thoughts on the appropriate plan forward. So rates are still going up. And if you are betting that we are going to have a soft landing, unfortunately, you're betting against history. 85% of the time, tightening cycles have led to recession. And 100% of the time, when you've had an inverted yield curve like we do today, we've had a recession. So the thing that I think is important to put into perspective is even though inflation may have peaked, we must remember that inflation mm -hmm. peaked in 1980, but stocks didn't bottom until 1982. So unfortunately, I just think it's a little premature to be giddy. Yeah, market does sometimes get impatient uh, to call the turns, uh, so we'll definitely be mindful of that. Uh, now, let's talk about individual names. One that you do like on the long side, Capri Holdings. What's, uh, what's the story there? Yeah, so Mike, at Wincrest, we look for longs that can double and shorts that can have. So we think Capri is a really interesting story. What is it? It is a conglomerate of globally renowned fashion brands, and it includes Michael Kors, which is a middle market brand for all mm -hmm. sakes and purposes, and Jimmy Choo and Versace. Those trade at different multiples, and so the market always wants to put the middle market multiple on this company when it deserves a much higher multiple, in our opinion. So the company just reported sales grew 9% year on year. They reiterated their guidance of $6.85 for the year in earnings. And that puts this company on a 7.3 times mm -hmm. forward PE. That's incredibly mm -hmm. cheap for a company of this quality that's growing with a strong balance sheet. Um, and so the company is executing on its strategy to reduce its footprint in the U.S. and expand with the Versace and um, brand in Asia where it's underpenetrated. And that's working. Mm -hmm. So how cheap is it? If you just put the right multiple on the right sales for this company, you're looking at 90 percent upside. So the luxury comps like LVMH, Prada, Richemont, Hermes, Montclair, they trade for an average of 5.7 times sales. If we give mm -hmm. that to Jimmy Choo and Versace, I think that's totally fair. And then you look at the Coors business, and if you value it the way Coach is um, valued at an EV of right. 1.6, you're, you're getting a $13 billion equity value, and the company's at yeah. $7 billion a day. So you're getting Coors right. for free. All right. <laughs> Close for free. Uh, Coors for free. Like it. Uh, Barbara, I appreciate it. Barbara and Bernard, we are out of time.